if we get to this next topic, the the the, the whole having a girl, having a guy best friend. Um, I, I mean, mean that that's that 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 one's. I mean, if you if you disagree with, with with the girl having visual or or aura contact with other male beings that are in the vicinity, clearly she cannot have a best friend. I mean, a friend, an acquaintance, bitch. Mother, a sight of fucking real life men pixel is a fucking breach to taste fucking insecurity. So I don't know. I, I don't, don't think it, I'm not what? insecure territorial. That is insecurity. It, by definition, not allowing the girl to be around the sight of other men is insecurity. I think you meant I think you meant I think, I think you meant in a club scenery, but I'm just gonna ask Andrew, it, can a girl can your girlfriend have a, a, a guy best friend? No. No, I don't agree either. <laughs> Holy fuck. So you, you don't think that you're, you're – so do we agree on this, that your woman should not have a male best friend? Well, a best friend means – for me, a best friend is somebody you spend most of your time with. If I'm with somebody, I'm spending most of my time with them, right? Otherwise, there's a lack somewhere that they're making up by doing other shit. Having friends is cool, right? They're going to spend most of their time with somebody else because they're lacking some sort of social contact. That, that's a problem in itself. That is lack of fulfillment on one end, which translates to lack of fulfillment on both ends. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't think a woman should. I don't think. I think that. Well, first you have to understand the paradigm. Do you think men and women can even be friends? Ooh, yeah, that's um, what we talked earlier. That that is like super case by case. I think that's super hard. I agree with it's that. It's like really that. case by case. It depends. It depends. It just depends. On, see, it always depends of, of the nature of that of that relationship in, 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 uh, in the first place. I think I think they they can be friend if things are clear from the get go and you just kind of know, right? But you have to be very very rational about it, though. Do you He's think right. that in 99% of scenarios when man's friends with a chick, he'd like to sleep with her if he could? Okay. So, yeah, see, see, uh, it's, it's going to be the all or most against, uh, it's going to be like the all against most take or all against whatever fucking take, you know, we're going to go down again like last time. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's say, let's say, uh, fucking, I can use a close example, okay? Uh, this, uh, this girl does projects for, for Twitch events or fucking stream events. Uh, his name is Cutie. Okay, just an example. Okay, I started a bunch of events. Uh, we work on projects together, I guess, right? I never fuck her. Yeah, that's right? acquaintance. That's Not, work. That, we're talking about friendship. Well, I mean, she's still a friend, though. If she's an acquaintance. She's someone you work with, someone you know. I wouldn't call him a friend. So, okay, it's not mutually exclusive. It's, it, it, well, yeah, be, it's hard to draw the line. But my point is that I, I don't think that when a woman and a man are purely just friends without, let's say, a financial... Yeah, shout out other debate topics. Yeah, purely uh, just friends. I don't think that's a platonic relationship. I think the man is interested in her most of the time. And when people disagree with me that, I say, then why do all the hot girls have so many friends and all the ugly girls don't have any? The men are trying to get laid. And for her to sit there and entertain it and pretend that that's not the case. Oh, no, he's just my friend. She knows what's going on. It's bullshit. X, I have and a question. Once... Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Someone well, asked. Because you, you can reverse X, that. X, what? somebody had asked uh, X, if uh, would, would you be okay if uh, your girlfriend was best friends with Andrew Tate? Well, I, I don't want any of my friends being friends with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is a fucking moron. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, no. Um, we can, uh, you know, you're, you're, a friend. Fam- you're a famous Twitcher, bro. We could, we could do a really, we could get a lot of pay-per-views on a boxing match anytime. Bro, 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 bro. Have you seen these sticks I got? Uh, these are literally fucking, these are sticks. I can't, I can't fight with that. <laughs> bro, I did, I did one tap. I don't, I don't, I'm still not scared saying that. It's like, I, I don't know. It's like, it's not, it's not even comparable. It's like if I said, best, biggest fucking UFC fighter, Colossus fucking seven foot Andy. I mean, he's going to clap you too. It's all a matter of scale. Of course. Well, this, uh, this is my point. The point is that I don't think that most male female friendships are truly and utterly completely platonic. I think if any woman's honest, she'll admit that too. And for the same reason I discussed earlier, while I wouldn't let someone attempt to break into my Lambo, I would not let some man come along under the shield, under the guise of friend. I'm not gonna let some dude come along, put on a friend hat and try on with my chick permanently. That's bullshit. And she shouldn't want that either. She should say, this guy obviously wants more. I'm not talking to him or I'll talk to him only at work for X event. That's it. And, and 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 I know these views for some reason. I don't know why these views are extreme. Because these are really- not. They, these are not. The rest of them are kind of extreme. They are. They are legitimately. That one is not too extreme because um yeah a lot of people have these intentions that are that are preemptive and when they see somebody that's like attractive or whatever yeah they'll be friends and trying to try to snake their way in or whatever. But would, I your, was, would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's her friend? Would your mother say that again? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's just my friend? Would your would your father tolerate that? Uh, they're not together. They're divorced. Okay. 
but I'm talking about a different generation, right? Let's imagine people married 40, 50 years ago. Would they, would, was it normal? Was it normal then for dudes, for chicks to be hanging around with a bunch of dudes and saying he's just my friend only 30, 40 years ago? Or is this all new thing? A friend, it depends on what kind of activities you do. I mean, dude. Nah, bro, he's it, right. It, it, not, you can have friends honest. doing a bunch, a bunch of shit. Like they can go fucking, maybe they like playing golf together. Maybe they like. It's new think, my friend. And what you must understand is that the things I'm talking about are, were perfectly normal and completely and utterly accepted. Oh, you're one of well, these guys. Okay, it's okay. Not these guys. It's about accepting that society has changed and that new think is untested. And when you look at untested think, because that's what it is, it's untested by the definition of being new in and of itself, it's untested. Yo, how long is he going to get a massage for it, bro? We had relationships for a very, very long time, thousands of years, where when a woman was with a man, she only spoke to that man. In most of the world today, still that is the case. You may live in America, but if you go to Africa or any of the Middle East or Asia or even Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, any of these you. places, if you think these chicks are, have male friends, then you don't understand the world very well. Take it a piss. America, One sec. Keep going. Okay, Keep going. I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm reverse and say in the age of a Mesopotamia or some shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, girls had, had, had friends and shit and then stuff with other guys. Yeah, th things change. It doesn't devalidate them as untested. A lot of things were untested previously, like uh, how does that prove anything? Like, what is that new equals bad thing? Like, well, I don't know what that is. New, new doesn't equal bad. New equals untested, which means you don't know. Nobody knows how this new societal paradigm is going to play out. I can only talk from my personal experience. And my personal experience is that when a woman has a bunch of male friends and a boyfriend, the relationship doesn't last very long. That's my personal experience. I, I've seen it happen a thousand times. Yeah. I, I mean, if, that, if, if you date some girls unfulfilled of you so much that she's willing to give other guys a chance and keep an open mind about who they're going to date and who they're with, that they're going to do that with, with people that they meet randomly. But if, she's, but if she's fulfilled, she wouldn't have male friends. You're pretending that a girl can be fulfilled. That's not true. That's not true. What, yes, it is. What if, what if Bro, she already had a friend before before you, like oh, understood. years, years ago? Understood. I, I've been with women and they've had a friend for a very long time. But... I make it very clear to him, look, he clearly likes you. And if she's honest, she's like, yeah, I know. I keep my arm's length. And she's very honest and open with me about it. Oh, he just texts me trying to get me to go out. I'm not going to reply to him. And she'll, she'll distance herself on purpose. And she'll make it very, very clear that she's in love with me. And she'll keep him where he belongs. Very, 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 very firmly in the friend zone with no hope. Because that's oh. her job to do. I don't have to tell her to do that. Now, right. if I have to come along to a chick and say, you're giving this guy too much. Hope. Stop texting him. Blah, blah, blah. If I have to do that, then she doesn't respect me. And I'm not going to be in that relationship. I'm not going to sit there and police her phone. She'll yeah. self herself. She'll self police out of respect for me. If she's not yeah, doing yeah, it, she's not self policing, guy, then she doesn't here. respect me very much. And I need to understand the chessboard. I need to look at the board and say, okay, I'm not very well respected in this relationship. She thinks talking to these dudes is more important than keeping me happy. It's only a matter of time until we break up. Okay. We, okay. Okay. I, I, I agree with this, but the, the problem is that you're lumping in, you're lumping two things that are, that are very, 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 very different. Okay. Relationship needs and social needs that what they're not, they're, they're separate uh, experiences. You you saying and fearing the, the social overall aspect of, of, of your girlfriend, saying that, that, that she's mixing that with, 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 the, with your personal relationship love, right, is a problem itself. That is, that is a problem that, that you cannot, that you can't see. That's aggressive. Social needs, that is good to talk to other beings, hear new ideas, have different intellectual conversations with other beings than you. Bro, you, 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 you can't entertain all of her fucking uh, intellectual, whatever the fuck. Bro, they, they have to go out there and, 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 and talk and have fun conversations where they aren't having sex and having a love with somebody else. Like what? I'd appreciate if you'd stop using the word fear because I'm not fearful. So you can stop using that word, firstly. Secondly. Well, I can't, it's hard because when you don't want somebody to do something, it's, it's out of fear. That, that's how it is. You think? Yeah, by default it is, but you are fearful of something happening, yes. It's not about being fearful. It's just about having my boundaries as an individual and, and having- Boundaries of what? Boundaries that, what will happen? Boundaries of what? What is the thing that you're shielding? You said boundary from what? Boundary was... and shield from what? From something. Let, Bro, let me you, don't wear, you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns and bullets, bitch. Sorry, let me, I, I, let, I, take, I take the bitch back. I cannot pull that stuff in there. I, I don't mind, that's fine. I'll, I'll answer your first original question about them being social. <laughs> Women often, if they're with a man and they love that man, their social circle ends up involving or being built around that man. His friends become their friends. The girlfriends of the other, other guys that he's friends with becomes their friends. I'm not saying they're not going to have any friends and nobody outside of me. 
But anybody who is completely and utterly unrelated to me is to a degree an enemy combatant. You, you need to understand, my friend, that life as a man is ultra competitive and it is war. We are all competing with each other. If Everybody's you... at war. Okay. The, the whole war. thing is war. Girls Every... at war. Guys, everybody is at fucking war. Yes, life is a battlefield and sometimes you gotta make choices and shit like that and that's how you climb, motherfucker. You have to, okay. you have to take some down. It is what it is. It's a war, yeah. All right, but I would, I would argue that women to a degree, call me misogynist, are a spoil of war. If you're a man and you've been to war and you've been through enough shit, you get women along with money, along with status, along with respect. Women are a spoil of war. They always have been. Look at the ancient times. They turn up, take the city, take the women. It's, women are a spoil of war. So all men are competing with each other for all the things men want. All of you Twitchers are competing with each other for views. I'm competing with people to make as much money as possible. If you're going to go try and get a chick, you're not the only person trying to get her. You are competing with people who are trying to get her too. And my point is this. If I win said war and a female becomes mine, I'm not going to let an enemy combatant put on a friend hat and use that as a shield and a bullshit excuse to sit there and attempt to silently chip away at my relationship. Every single time she's unhappy with me or we have an argument and he's in her fucking phone saying, well, you could do better than him. Da -da. Anyone who thinks that that makes you secure to allow your chick to just be poisoned. Okay. It's about security. That so, is just mm. responsibility. She is yours. She loves you. She adores you. Her social circle should include you and revolve around you. Anyone who comes along and has nothing to do with me, but still wants something to do with my chick is unacceptable. Okay. Okay. It's a I understand. So it's a spoil of war because you did something, right? Like, I want to fire back at you and say that where you, you're in a relationship, it has to be because you are something, not because you did something and you got something, because you are something. That's how you reach fulfillment in a relationship. You're with somebody who's with you because of you and you're then because of they are, they are them. What happens when you are, since you're using the bad old war thing, right? You're fucking, you're, you're Achilles, the great fighter with a sword, right? And you smoke this big ass giant and you get the sport, you get, you get, you get, in your words, you get the bitch. Now she comes to your tent and she gets to ride on the fucking stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spoils of war, right? Yeah, bro, yeah. Right, right, right. And then you have you build this relationship on the fact that you're such a successful fighter. The next day, something comes along, you go in the stairs and you fucking break your leg. Then it's all over, right? It's all over. Bro. You go back to your tent, it's crickets. She's fucking gone. Because you can't fucking jump and sword that guy anymore. You can't do the leap that Achilles what? did because you can't fight anymore. Therefore, it's gone, right? So what's the point? That, so you're saying that, that, that that's how it works. Because she's not with you for you. She's with you because of some achievement, some some tangible event that you did, some some height that you got. And she, you shouldn't be worthy or you should be fulfilled of anything else but that one event. Well, I have two answers for that. Firstly, you said she shouldn't be with you for something. She should be with you because you are something. Well, how do you become something? You well, become something. That's, some that's what you, you become. Wait. Become something by doing things. So you're trying to separate the two as if they're separate. They're not you're se separate. Separate. They're, they're not. You is a lot of things. Your, your achievements is a small thing. Being not, not, successful not, isn't. Hold on, not in the realm of a man. In the realm of a man, oh. your achievements are 85% of all of who you are. As a man, you are judged solely on your status. You don't even have to be good looking. You need to be important. And you're only going to be important by achieving important things. As a man, you are only an you're only judged on your importance and your status. And also another point I want to make, you made it sound like if I lose that next battle, she's going to run away. Well, no, not completely, but I'll counter that by not saying completely. No, no, but I'll, I will because, answer. I mean, now she's a taxi because you're a failure. She's the taxi on whatever you do because now you're not as good as you were before. So she's losing that part of success that you had. She's not, now not, she should tax you too much. Yeah. You, she should you, say, Andrew, give me 10 bucks a day, bro. So you have to, you, you have to go like a wagey to the market and sell peaches, right? Because you don't fulfill her now anymore. She lost something, bro. Get taxed, pussy. Do you think that women don't leave their man or initiate divorce when that man loses his job or can no longer financially provide? You think arguments don't Bitch happen? Bitch-ass, unstable ones do from people who can't sell their women properly. When you do not, when she does not respect you, she will leave you. And respect is a multifaceted, it's a large and complex issue. But if you cannot provide as a man, if you are not competent, she will lose respect for you and eventually she will leave. For you to sit here to say that you can lose endless battles and your girl will stay with you anyway All right, is Chad, dream world fallacy. I'm fallacy. not even talking. Give me a new topic. Fallacy. Fucking warrior. I go through the back downs and, forth. and the ups. And I would assume the person that, that, that is with me knows I can lose a thousand battles. At the end, I will win the war some fucking hell. They know that because I built character and I built who I am as a person. And that, per that person is with, with me knows this and doesn't need some 
some event or some win at least one battle out of 10. So for me to stay secure, they don't need that because they know who I am. They of don't course. need little, little, little battles. They know the but, war is won because she's with the fucking winner. That's, okay. what's it, that's okay. how it works. All right. Well, if she's going to see you as a winner, even though you've lost a battle, which is fantastic, and that's how a woman should view her man, then she's only going to see you as a winner because she's seen you win a bunch of battles before. Any woman who's only ever seen you lose is not going to stand there and say he's a winner, is she? Um, no. yeah, that, no. yeah, I guess well, that's a fair point. Yeah. No, my point is, my point is this. As a man, you are judged by females and by society at large on your competence. And your competence, by extension, means your ability to win in all scenarios. The more competent you are as a man, the higher status you are as a man. We don't just have to talk about money, right? My woman can come to me and say, there's a man outside with a knife. And I will go and deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I need a million dollars. I can deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I don't know the answer to this. I can deal with it. She can come to me and say, I need a second passport. I have to disappear. I need a second name. I can deal with it. I am competent in all realms. The more competent I am, <laughs> the more she respects me. By extension, the more responsibility and authority I have over her and the less likely she is wanted to go to a club and shake her ass around. If I can't fix all of her problems, I have less authority. That's normal. I don't think if I was a beautiful woman, I wouldn't be with a man who's not top fucking level. Why would I be? Because I have innate value. So to sit here and say that women don't give a fuck if you win or lose and that all of that is not true because it's too competitive. It's too competitive. There are too many men out here who want the hot chicks. A hot woman can have anyone she wants. She ain't going to choose the dude okay. who fuck is. With, with this definition, then you, you, are, you are admitting that any girl that dates you, right? And you got that dates you is only with you uh, until she until she sees some guy who's who's more successful and has won more battles than you. Therefore, you shouldn't you shouldn't be with anybody, right? Because of who you are, right? No. Every no. every girl is always looking up at something better. The grass is always greener. There's there's you're just some pawn then, right? No. Because the, no. as soon as you go to the yacht and some guy pulls up randomly that looks. And like uh, has more money no, 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 or has no. more followers or more whatever. <laughs> nah. She's gone. Where's he? That guy no. has more so, yes, that's, that's what you said. I mean, it's your argument. Uh -huh. The guy has won more battles and is more stable. Why shouldn't she go to that guy? Then? After, after. I'm saying done, that man will be a threat. Obviously, she's going to have an emotional attachment to you because you're going to have an established relationship. Private hold on, Jack. Hold on, Jack. You're scared you're going to leave then. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. You are. Yeah, that, that is what. I, I have something you don't. <laughs> I have something that nobody else has. Nobody. Not even you, him, the president. I'm cool. myself. That's well, all that, I fucking needed. Cool. Well, then I, I, I would put it this way. I would expect any man listening to this stream to see me as a threat. Because if you don't see me as a threat, then you are literally stupid. If you see your girl talking to me, I expect you to be like, fuck. He ticks too many boxes. He's too competent. <laughs> and he's too good at certain things. I don't need him near my woman. Now, she ain't going to run away straight away. No. But if I keep talking to her and you and her have a little bit of an argument... She's going to end up doing something that she might, she might even regret it, <laughs> but she's going to end up doing it. That is the nature of humanity. Now, to sit here and say that I, because I'm me, I'm so secure, I'm not threatened by nobody, da, 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 da. That's not true. That's not, that's not an intelligent way to approach things. I'm a world champion fighter, right? If I see a man in my garden late at night, he may not be able to fight like me. I still don't want him near my house. Who the fuck are you, right? That's still a threat. It's still somebody who wants what I have. So it's not even it's not even as black and white as you're trying to make it. The point, another point you're trying to make, I think I don't I think but, you're trying but, to. But okay, sure. but he's not even competing. It, you you already won. It's, it's, it's not even, there's no competition. One, you no, yourself. You've shown that. So why do they need anything else? The competition. Go on. Well, I, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's not even, it's not it's not even competition. I mean, why why would you? There's no competition. You have what nobody else has. How is that? How is that? How is anybody competing with that? Well, we're all different, right? There's, there, I, I have things that nobody else has in some realms, but you guys have things I don't have, right? If there's a chick who's, a, who's in love with Twitch, you're all more important than me. That's fine. But it's not about that. It's, it's, it's not even about that. The point I'm trying to make is, I think you were trying to say earlier that a girl's only with me because I have certain things, because I have X, Y, Z, et cetera. Well, and well, I, that's, that's not her fault. It's your fault, because that's how you set it up to be. Well, I agree. I you agree. are creating your own demons by, that, by, that, by the division. It's not a demon. I agree that women are only with me Shallow females are only with me because I'm big, tall, strong, rich, interesting, compendious, because I have char 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 charisma, because I can fix their problems, because I have a good, a well-connected network, because I'm important and respected and high status. I agree women are only with me for all those things. That does not mean that their love is not true. You think that a woman who's only with a guy because he's big, tall, strong, handsome, and rich doesn't love that man? <laughs> You're only with her for her titties and you love her.
<laughs> so what the fuck are you talking about? You're trying to pretend they're separate. They're the same fucking thing. <laughs> bro, bro, listen, you're talking to the big titty guy. I fucking love titties, okay? There's nothing, I, I, I don't give a fuck if people say I'm a child of that. I fucking love titties. And I don't even agree with that, okay? I love titties more than anybody else. And and just huh? titties, it's just not not good enough. What it's the just not. fuck? That was I was I was making I was making a point humorously. So I'll make the point now professionally. If you're only with a woman because she is loyal, kind, soft, adoring, and beautiful, and she makes you feel happy, are you shallow? Oh, I said it again. That was that, that was a lot. She's loyal. She's adoring. She's funny. She's gorgeous. She makes you feel happy. She, your friends love her. She lives in your house. She cooks. She cleans. You feel good when you're around her. Are you shallow to be with that woman? No. Why would I be shallow? Oh, so if a woman's only with you or me or anyone else because she looks up to you and sees you as strong, rich, competent, interesting, you can protect her. She will, likes to be guided by you. She likes talking to you. Is she shallow to be with you because you're purely high status? Um, No. So no, the, the point I'm making is that, okay, okay, it's like, you're, okay yeah, I agree with you. No, that's just one of the reasons she loves me. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's all about proportions, okay? Think about, think about it. Like I said earlier, the poly, the motherfucking polygon, okay? Jack, if it's a polygon, it's I'm like, like, a, it's really like a, tired, it kind of, it fills on, on certain sides because certain strengths, okay? What I'm saying is that you can, you can have a little bit of everything, right? A little, a little bit of everything. But if the reason why she's there is mostly... The things that are fucking uh, uh, tangible, right? Like like money or whatever. If most of it is that it's the money and the status or whatever, that's a fucking problem. Sure, you you, want, you want to be a nice no, balance. Like, I'm zoning out. Of I'm too tired. Of everything. I in, so it feels fulfilling in all ways and good and, and feels good. It's Agreed. a good thing. All of it. So, so if, if, if it goes with you because of 3% uh, whatever, 3% intellect, 5%, whatever. And then 40% money and 30% looks. What, what, happens, what happens if um, your investment all fall flat and you get old? Uh, in, in 10 years. Then, then you, that woman, out the window. You get, because Agreed. most reason why she likes you, most reason is these tangible dog shit. And then boom, Agreed. it's gone. Agreed. I and, never then said what? and then what? And then what? What do you do then? Then you're going to find another bitch. What do, I never said that wasn't the case. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? I never said that wasn't the case at all. I'm saying that women are attracted to tangible things. It's a tangible world. I said this earlier. Now, I, I've never been with a woman who only loves me for money. I'm not a sugar daddy. I'm not like that as a person. I have a lot of money, but my women who are with me, they don't get like presents and cars, none of that shit. Like they can live in the house and I'll take them out for dinner, but they, they could get with a man with less money than me and get a lot more money out of said man. So I understand the point you're making. Yeah, if a hooker's with a dude purely for money and he runs and out of money, yeah, cool. And how do you, how do you know that? I know that because of how my relationship's set up. Because if they were with me for money, they'd, they'd choose someone else because they don't get any money. Well, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not to work, they're not to do shit. They, they live for free. So how do you know they're not with you only because they can live for free and, and a good life and a very fancy life? How do you know that for certain? How do you, how do you build that framework, right, where, where they, they display they're with you for all these other intangible things all the, from you that isn't only life stability and, and status? Good question. Good question. So what we need to do is we need to get this Twitch stream. We Come need up. to get every, every single stay-at-home mother, every single stay-at-home wife in the entire country, and we need to ask them how we know they really love their husband. They're not just with them, so they don't need to have a job. Let's do that, shall we? That's that's That doesn't even make I sense. I didn't ask these fucking degenerates or me. I asked you. Also, 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 is that lady billing you a new fucking back and rearrange your fucking bones? Why is it being misogyny for a full hour straight, bro? What is she doing out there, man? Bro! What the fuck? It's gonna be some sort of fucking osteopathic <laughs> replacement or some shit. I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two hour massage. Can she get but, like? Um, can she get like a little break or like some water? Of course, she gets water. She works hard. She's here every day. She loves me. She's fine. She's my best friend. <laughs> okay, she's good. well looked at. What's uh, her watch, name? Watch out! Watch out! Hey, 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 hey! Sorry, lady. You better watch this guy's girlfriend. She's about to get jealous because he has a best friend that isn't her. Holy shit! Why <laughs> watch the fuck out? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Somebody tell her. I want to say one more thing that will really trigger you, but this is true. All the rules I've been saying and all the things I've saying that apply to women don't apply to me. I can go to the club when I want. I can have as many female friends. So I can do whatever I want. So let's just make that. <laughs> okay. I can do I can do as much as I want. Because I'm the boss. You're the boss. So I can do the fuck I want. Top G. Right? So, okay. Yeah, top G. My chick can't come to me and say, who's this chick? Like, Some bitch. Why are you talking to her? Because I fucking want to. I'm well, allowed. I mean... I mean, in a way, when, when, you have, when, you have, when you have these two things, right? These... 
it, in that polygon when you have a crazy Chad, amount of money, eating, I mean, what the fuck, what would you do? I mean, you, you, you can uh, <laughs> do whatever the fuck. You can do crazy, just outlandish shit and well, still have security. I don't, it's true, but I don't, I don't like people thinking that women are only with me for money because it's actually the absolute opposite. I only first ever made serious money because I had so many women when I was broke. So let's keep that in mind, firstly. So I had women when I had no money. So and why? I, because you were good looking or other things? What was it? I was a world champion. Because, because you had good hair? What happened when you went bald? You think maybe <laughs> some women was only because of, you, because of your hair? But now you're bald. What happened then? I'm not bald. I shaved my head. I could grow all my hair back if I decided. Bro, but we can it, see the hairline. It's like a whole McDonald's uh, symbol. It's here. But um, it's because I was a world champion fighter, I'd assume. And because I'm interesting <laughs> and smart, <laughs> I guess. I'm that was funny, enough. XQ. I'm big. I had lots of reasons. I had lots of things about me that women like, clearly, because they listen to me and they help me make up millions and millions of dollars. So it's Aiden. not just about it's not just about money. Yo. How do you how are you hiding Los Poyos' video? Like like how do you do that? You right click. He fell asleep. What do you click? He fell asleep. So yeah, but what do you yeah, but, yeah, but what do you click? <laughs> you right click you had to show my camera or disable video. Really? Good yeah. shit. Thank you, brother. Oh I never knew that. Continue, guys. So yeah, this is a very interesting conversation. I would like to, if I had the time, which I know, we could do a really interesting study. We could, you get a new girlfriend, I get a new girlfriend. I give mine my set of rules and you give your set of rules and we see who lasts longer. <laughs> yeah. who, la wait, who lasts longer? Bro, life doesn't work like that. We can't just fucking full reset and get like brainwashed, it's like clean, clean sleep. You can't. Th th that's the problem with life. How do you, okay, th this is the one I've had problems with life. How do you know you have the tools and you have what it, what, you have what it takes to make it if you can't full reset? Oh, shit, How? I wasn't muted. It's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. You, you, Yo, don't, this shit you don't is hilarious, ever know for bro. sure, right? I wish, I, can we do a poll in the chat? Is it possible to do a poll? Yeah, yeah, just, you can do a poll, yeah. yeah. Okay, just ask and say, if your girl goes to the club, with men, all the or no, sorry, I mean, I got that wrong. Hey, Paul, I, 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 do it again. I, yeah, 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 yeah. To give me the specifics. Yo, Paul, mods, girl, any mods up? If your girl can go, go to the club whenever she likes with her girls, are is she more likely, or are you more likely to break up than if she doesn't go club? That's the question. So just so let's put, see what people think. Just put break Maybe up. I'm wrong. Just put it's fine. Put break I, I have no problems break being up. wrong. Like I don't give a your fuck. Girl goes clubbing without with you. Her, with your her girl, girls. Out you very often are you more likely to break up Boom. just put yes or no even actually what should hold up andrew you're looking at my shit so i'll just i got you so wait you want me to put yes or no or break up or not break up yes or no is fine i just did break up not break up and it's so no, one, one minute pull one minute pull in the chat i might do it x mine's 95 percent break up mine's or then yeah so but yeah yeah but you you, 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 you you stream to a bunch of fucking preteen Fucking cool Mirandis up in his bitch. Just and like, you just stream like to a bunch of skateboarding fucking... Oh, What's I can't. The question? Exactly. What's the question? I am as biased as you. It's we are not rooted, question. We are not rooted in rationality. What These guys the spam W when this guy shows up on screen. Holy because they, shit. What is the saying? question? What it's, is the question? your girl goes out clubbing with her girls without you, are you more <coughs> likely to break up with her than not? My, okay. my, my personal answer Thank is you. no, 100% no. Okay, because if she goes to the club, it has nothing to do with my my st my uh, relationship stability, and isn't getting something she isn't getting from me by going out there, right? <laughs> and she's fulfilling other needs uh, socially that she enjoys. That makes me even less likely. Yo, to look you, at this you are more likely to be broken up with, right? Yo. If you allow her to do less things that she enjoys doing. This is like fifty. And a story. I want my girl to feel pretty, and if she's bald like and 80, hot and fucking sexy, I want, her, I, want her, I want her to be able to feel, like, feel that. I want her to be able to do, do, do that. What the fuck she wants? She's not gonna fucking sit at home in her pajamas. Oh, fuck. She, just like you like to have your fucking top off so we can see your titties and your traps. Freak, I'm gonna okay? add you after. She likes, sometimes, looking nice and having some cleavage so she feels sexy when she looks at her in the mirror. It has nothing to do with what she's getting out of others. It's how she sees herself. Oh, I'm sexy. I want to feel that way. I want to say, oh, my, I'm so fucking sexy. I think Appreciate it's fucking hot shit. Yeah I, yeah, I love it when your girl comes to the club with her tits out. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can look like a fucking like a uh, window shopper like when you're, you're broke, right? That's right. Oh, and then really? she comes back home and sucks my balls and not probably not yours. And nobody right. else is in the world. That's right. Uh, That's security. Thank you. That's right. You're right. Security. Yeah. No, you're totally right, man. Everyone's window shopping. No one's touching her. Just they, you, they, they are window shopping. They absolutely, absolutely are. Yeah. Ninja, so like ninja. I said, you are scared. People are not window shopping when your girl goes out. Uh, yeah. So I only, you're right. All my girls are ugly, clearly. And I'm, I'm very fearful. No, that's not what I said. I didn't say ugly or looks. I said, I, I, what I said is, what I said is, what you're saying is that 
You intend that if you were going out, people will not be window shopping. They wouldn't be touching. They, they will oh. not know. Look, I, I, I hang around with many beautiful women. They get a lot of attention, and we go out with me, and, and they get shitloads of attention. Of course, it's normal. But that's, cr- that, that's good. That's a good thing. I'm getting tired. Of course. That doesn't mean that they're but, touching, though. But they're with me. I wouldn't send them to the club by themselves. And, and you know what's actually, I know this is very unusual to like- So you have to be close when something, when something that you don't like happens, happens. I know this is maybe unusual to an American audience, right? But I live in Romania. So in Romania, if you go to a club and she's not with a man, she's single. The, the idea that a woman has a boyfriend and goes to the club without her boyfriend is literally, it doesn't exist. So you either, you see women with their men and you see women standing on their own and everyone knows they're the single ones. It's impossible for a girl to have a boyfriend and still go out. That, that's just the, the societal norm. Same in Russia, same in most of Eastern Europe, same in all of Asia, same in the Middle East, same in Africa, same in most that, of the world. That, that's cultural shit, you know, comparing the, the, the East, the West, Middle Eastern. Cultures. We're comparing cultures now. We're comparing the culture of the Western United States to other countries. The Western United States is a country with the highest divorce rate, the most suicidal males, girls are sleeping with the most men, the most porn stars, the most fucking OF, the cam, and all this other trash. You're going to try and defend the society, which is the most degenerate on the fucking planet? There's nothing fucking respectable about... Well, well a- I live in here. I, I, I don't have any other choice. I, I, I like living here. I live here. That's about it. End of story. I'm not going to fucking... My ideas are not unusual most places on the planet. They may be unusual to an American audience in a degrading society full of disgusting... Okay. Im- with but this the, mindset, you, you the girl of your dreams is actually not even alive right now. She's probably is stuck in the fucking cave ages with the fucking uh, with, with, with the, the mindset that they had back then of the animals mm. and fighting. So by definition, your 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 soulmate or best fit is in the fucking minus two millions or some shit. There is no such thing as a soulmate because as a man, you mold your woman. I take any woman and, and she becomes my soulmate by obeying my rules. And if she doesn't obey, we break up. So that woman, the women are malleable. My point is I could take an American woman and she would, comb- she would abide by my rules because that's who I am. It's not about that. My point is you're defending. Why, why would I have to obey? In that, dude, dude, I feel like the way you're saying that obey, then in that, in that sense, the way we use the word obey, she could do, you can make her do any tricks whatsoever. fucking ever. She can make, you can make her do anything. She has to obey. What the fuck is that, well, man? It's, it's comply. Like if they don't want to comply with my rules and my, my, my views on how a relationship should run, then they should leave. That's normal, right? Um, a woman gets with me. I think it wants to be this way. She doesn't want it to be that way. Then we break up. What's the problem? But if she stays, it's yeah, that, my- that was that was both ways though, with girl and woman and and men, right? Correct. A woman can come to me and say, "I expect you to do X, Y, Z, Andrew." And if I do those things, we stay together. And if we don't, we break up completely. But my point is that my rules are that I can do whatever I want in certain regards, and she can't. Those are my rules because I have responsibility. Okay, with- it, it makes sense. So, so, so hmm. you are inherently superior, right? Therefore, you command you you command the boat. I'm I, as an analogy, I just always felt like relationship. It's more like a like a plane. You have a co-pilot, right? You have a co-pilot. <laughs> but you think it's the opposite. You have a ship, and you're the fucking captain, and they are the the whatever mother sucker down on the board, and you do this and you do that, and you obey the captain. I'm the captain mother sucker, right? And you, as Andrew, no girl is above you. Not a single breathing woman on earth is above you and commands you or could command you because you're above somehow. I, I right. could argue that, but to, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'll, I'll, that's 85% correct. Yeah, correct. 85%, 85% how? Because you're saying like no woman's it. above you, that you're trying to use it as a misogynistic term, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that in a relationship, someone has to be in charge, and I think the most healthy relationships are relationships with the man in charge, and there are certain domains in which <laughs> I'm always going to excel. Jesus. And because of that, let me give you another example, and then we're going to change subject, hopefully. Last example. Yes, sure. please. You're, you're walking down the street with your chick. I come up to you. Or, or forget me, 10 UFC guys come up to you. Your chance of winning is 0%. Zero, so they, yeah. Okay, but they want, they want to physically harm your female. It is your masculine duty and your imperative to at least attempt to protect her. Do you agree? What? Bro, this isn't World of Warcraft. You don't fucking, you don't <laughs> AOE the mobs down, bro. Like, this isn't some fucking primitive, you're against a lion type shit, bro. It's an unwinnable fight. Nobody would take that fight. By the okay. likeness, I would hope my but girl knows. Try. We cannot win this fight. We must both run. And we both run. No, okay, yeah. But let's, let's say okay, they're about like to drag the woman into a bush and have their way with her. Unless you try Yo! at least attempt to protect her. Do you feel like you have a masculine duty, even Yo! in the face of unwinnable odds, to at least Yo! attempt to protect her? Yes or no? Bro, th- these, what it, you made fun of me for my scenarios. What is this scenario of some obscure fucking like <laughs> hentai shit, man? What okay, the I'll, fuck am I talking? What are we talking about here, man? 
Fine, I'll change it then. If you want to pretend that that's not a very reasonable question, even though it is, I'll change Ten it. Ten dudes are <laughs> dragging the woman, <laughs> the woman <laughs> well, uh, 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 yeah, in, in a bush, and you have to fight 1v9. Bro, you wouldn't even win that if you were fucking Naruto, man. That's like, fair. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about your imperative. <laughs> I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about, do you have a duty? Do you have a masculine duty to at least- Where does that duty come from? That okay. both, both okay. partners have to help each other in, 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 in some ways. You, you, you don't both partners. Okay, so you need your chick to fight for you. I get it. Next question. Yo. Let's say you're alone in your house. You and your wait, chick. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, let's, let's roll it back a little bit. So you, you say you, you say that, that, that the girl can't fight for you, right? Because it's not her role. Whenever she made her character, she didn't choose fucking defender or melee. She chose fucking female. So they can't fucking fight. What the fuck is that? So what if, 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 you get, if you get jumped by three dudes, right? And you're getting absolutely boned, okay? And she has a gun. Right? She cannot shoot because the woman do not fight. The woman cannot fight. She can't fight for you, right? But because you're so you're such a lion, bro. Right? Not, bro, bro, come on. You're gonna want me three of them, right? That's not the point. If my female had a gun, I'd tell him to shoot every fucker. That's not what I'm saying. So let me well, but now she fought for you. That's that, that's that's not male, bro. That's that's not that's not fucking warrior mode. She, uh, you let the fucking female fight for you. Come on, Andrew. You're better than that. <laughs> let me finish the question because you want to pretend my question is is not very reasonable, even though it is. Because we're talking about masculine duty and authority and responsibilities. We're not. It's a hypothetical. So let me change it. You and your woman are asleep in bed upstairs. You hear someone break into the house downstairs. Who goes downstairs? They Nobody. Go. Tripping. <laughs> XQ, you tripping. Hold on, hold on. XQ, so you're not going down there? Nobody's going down there. So what if they come you, upstairs? Bro, you gotta you gotta protect. Bro, I'll up, keep bro. it a buck fifty. Protect, real, quick. Oh, protect. real quick, real quick. I'll keep it a buck fifty. No, no, no. no. My job is to survive, not protect. My job is to survive. And sometimes that means the guy, the guy go down there, the guy's a gun. It what doesn't matter. That's what not the very fuck I do. We are, of you, bro. We are both going down by no. doing the by doing the smart thing, the analytical thing, the strategic thing. We can both survive. If but I go down, not only am I jeopardizing myself, I am jeopardizing both of us by not being smart and a leader in that regard. We are even more in danger if I go I'm down not, than if I not, not go down. You're, hi you're hiding, though. You're hiding. So. Like you gotta try to protect your girl. What? Why is no. that crazy, bro? Bro, you are losing your. You live in America, right? No, you're you're losing your mind. Okay, my my job if is not to protect. Someone breaks into my protect. house. I'm go, I'm I'm my meeting job them. Is I'm to meeting survive. them. Survive. Yeah, but my so in the in the in the scenario we're describing, you're upstairs. You hear someone break in. Your girl turns to you and goes, "Someone's cutting the house. Someone's in the house." One of you has to go downstairs. Why? Why, why, why does it go downstairs? Why, why, why does it go there? Is why, it your... why, why do you have to go down there? Why? If you don't believe you have any kind of intrinsic masculine duty to at least attempt to protect your female, then that explains why we disagree on every single point. Yes. Because... Not, I'm going to give you further than that. I even have a, 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 a even higher duty to not protect her, to not even protect myself. I, I have a duty to Woman. fucking survive. Surviving in that scenario means if Let me somebody breaks into the house, he's okay. Listen, Andrew, if somebody breaks into the house, he is more likely than not likely to have a certain tool to get in or a weapon. If I do not possess that weapon, right, I am not going down there with bare hands. That's you because we will both a, die. You can have a weapon. I'm not saying you don't have a weapon. I'm saying. Oh, another, the, another yeah. all, and then you break it down. Another fucking argument like that, bro. You need to stop doing that. I was assuming you had a bat. I was assuming you had a bat down. What the I don't fuck? I think you I need, need to, to stop this. doing that shit what? again. Of Start with a blanket argument I've been, I've been, and then breaking it down. You got to stop doing that. Listen, 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 okay? Let me hop in real quick, okay? <laughs> What both of you are saying is the same thing, just different tactics, okay? The question needs to be asked in a more clear way, okay? What we're talking about here is instinct, instinct. What is, as a man, your instinct? So whether you go down or whether you stay up and hide, instinctually, immediately you get protective over the woman, right? And she may instinctually get protected over you. Now, what you do doesn't matter. The point is you both get instant instinct to survive and to protect, right? That's what we're talking about here, okay? The tactic is irrelevant. What we're talking about here is instinct. Do you understand? The, the most likely, okay, okay. You, you look at the, at the playing field, right? You look at what do you have and what 
is the most likely to happen and you choose the most favorable outcome for both parties to live. Whether that's running, whether that's hiding, whether that's been going to the ceiling, it's anything that we will do to stay on just like the animals do. If they cannot fight with weapons they don't have or tools they don't have, they run. It's called fight or flight. It's hey. whatever is the best best tool me, or, or to me, survive. You're, 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 you're making very simple questions complicated. Let me change the question. Again, Three, twice. You're upstairs. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm changing the question because your answers are stupid. So I'm doing it. It's a, it's a bro. Your answers are stupid, bro, because everyone knows that you have a duty to protect your woman and you're pretending you don't. I and, don't agree. I don't, not even a little bit, bro. Well, then, may, perhaps you are a coward, but let me give you the last chance. It, but in I, a I, way, I, 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 I survived. No, no, hold on, guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. This, this is crazy to me because it's both going over your, both of your comments are going over each other's heads, okay? Listen, your tactic, listen, both of you have the same instinct as a male, okay? Your tactics are different. Do you understand? You're, you're both agreeing with each other. You're just arguing whose tactic is better, which is irrelevant to the argument. Both of you, both no, of you no. have the instinct to protect your woman, and the woman has the instinct to protect the man. Your tactics are just different. Yours is to go downstairs and to manhandle the dude. XQC's is more tactical in the sense what she wants to. But the hide. guy has a gun. The guy's a gun. I know nope. it's not wrong. It's not bad. What you're saying is fine. Then what? Both the of you agree. Then what? The instinct is to survive and protect. No one said the guy has a gun, and we're not. Both and of what? you are right. So now the, the, the guy, the guy doesn't have a gun. Point I'm trying to make. Is that when if if somebody in this hypothetical, if somebody has to deal with the threat and engage, if someone did, between you and your female partner, who would be the person who decides to deal with the threat? You or the girl? Uh, I think that's irrelevant. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Whoever whoever can have the best outcome of fixing that with with it can be even both at the same time. Maybe a cooperation. Relevant. Who? What, 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 what if? What if? What if? I have a gun. I go to the back and I make her. And I, okay, I'll, I'll go open the door and I blast them. Now, now we both. Good. So you went. Good. Fine. That answers the question. I'm not. Okay. I'm, not, okay. I'm just okay. trying to. Okay. Add, I, trying to make I, I, I actually, well, actually, reverse. Actually, I'm pretty bad at shooting. Let's say I open the door. Then she shot. Uh, am I still the man? I'm trying to make you guys understand. Well, no, no, no. That I'm trying to make you understand. Am I still good now that I open the door and then she shot, or is that not good enough? That's fine, but that's not the scenario I described. The then, scenario I'm describing are the fact that when it push comes to shove and we end up in unfortunate situations, a man has a duty to protect his female. That's intrinsic. That's evolutionary. That's something we were hardwired with. It's something that society has always built into men until recent times. What you're saying now may be fine. If 30 years ago a dude said, I won't go downstairs and I'll tell my woman and we're just both going to hide here together, he would have been mocked forever. That's like, that's, that's insanity. Somebody has to engage and it's the man's job. Just like the men stay on the Titanic, the men go to fight. That's a man's imperative. And I don't care. It doesn't matter that I can fight. If I'm out number 10 to 1 and they have machetes and I'm going to lose, fine. No one's going to rape my chick without me trying. That is my masculine imperative and my duty as a man. The point I'm trying to make is, so let me change the scenario. You're upstairs. You have an AR-15. Three unarmed men break in. Between you and the chick, one of you has to take the gun and go down there and deal with all three of them. She's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. They're downstairs. Go, go shoot them. Go shoot them. Are you going to go? Yeah, why is she scared? And you, you're not, why only can, he, can she be uh, can she be scared? If she, if she has tra better, better training than I do, if she's better shooter than I, than I am, she's taking a gun, bro. I'm not. I'm, if I, if she, what? You're in my brain. What? I'm I know, am I talking Chinese? If, I, if, I, bro, I, if she is a better shooter, she's taking gonna, a gun. You're going to send your girl downstairs. I don't know, bro. If she's a better shooter, you're damn right she's going there. Of course. But how do you know she's a better shooter if you guys have never, like, let's say she never shot a gun before and you never if shot you, a gun if, if you have an R15, you need to have the training that comes with it. Yes, you do have training. If you're lying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably had the training before, before it. Yes. Okay, hey, well then. So what we've learned from me asking this question is that you, and it's not, this is not an insult, I, I think you'd agree with me saying this, you have no intrinsic desire, no intrinsic duty or intrinsic innate responsibility to protect your female in any regard. Oh my you God, guys, guys, you guys, don't I'm going to interrupt. Can, can I please interrupt real quick? I'm going to interject, okay? Once again, you both agree, okay? You're arguing to, to just to argue because you're not hearing each other, okay? Listen, XQC, what Tate is saying about instinct for males is correct, our instinct to protect will kick in 100%. Now, the next following step, okay, is, the, is the, what the technique. Is, what no, is, is what does that mean? Right, yes. it's technique. 
Yes. XQC is being rational about it. So if you were to word it correctly to fit your narrative, Tate, what we would do here is, as a man, XQC would take leadership of the situation and say, okay, I know you are a better shooter than I am. You practice 600 hours a week. I do not. Here is the gun. You are better than me. That takes confidence. Your outlook, Los Poyos, so is insecure. If she has more gun huh. training... If you, if and she has more you would die, and you, she's confident. You so, make the leadership decision. That's your instinct. Make leadership decision. No, but train. How do you know she has more? What the hell are you talking about? Train. How do you know? How do you know she has more gun training? Girl downstairs to I confront was, armed gun, it, gunmen. Man, like listen, what are you is, talking about? How am I insecure? That is irrelevant. That is irrelevant. Give me a second. No, you're not gonna say I'm insecure because I was confronted. Bro, 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 bro. This is crazy. What Tate is saying. Crazy. Is okay. Just imagine, what he's just saying you, is okay. What X is saying is okay. They're both right. They're both right. Tate okay. is saying. Just imagine listen, that's fine, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 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 like hanging out with a bunch of <laughs> testosterone filled men with small dicks. See, that's listen, that's not what listen, I'm listen. <laughs> what Tate is saying is correct. <laughs> Whose instinct kicks in is oh, what's the instinct of a man to protect your girl, yes. protect your kid, protect your family? Yes, Tate is right. That is there. But what the technique to follow is, it's is the man sir. taking leadership to say, okay, I will shoot and I will miss. But my girl, if she is willing, if she is strong, she's going to step up and she has more hours than me. And she will hit this guy one shot. Do you understand? If you need me to word it, to, to massage your ego, those poils, and say, okay, I took leadership <laughs> and I demanded this and she's my frontline soldier, I can you know, word it that way for you your know why? Ego. Listen, listen, do you know why I would do it like this? Because there's a chance, no matter what, going up against someone with a gun that you could die. I don't Rationally, want her to die. if you go I'll with no training, you're dead. You I'll go with no training, he has a gun, you're dead. She can run away. Oh my That's God. what I'm saying, bro. bro. That's not being insecure. That's bro. being the opposite. That's I'm willing to die for my there girl. There is I'm no... I'm not insecure, bro. That's <laughs> not the scenario. That's not the scenario. What do you the mean scenario? that's not the scenario? If the there's scenario is... Oh what, what if she dies? John oh Wick my God. too. Oh John my Wick God. can just kill anyone. Like, won, like, bro, there's no fucking way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What the Dude. fuck? What okay. the hell is this? Hey, oh my hey, god. Hey. I've been listening to you spew crazy bro! shit for mad long. Bro, I'm saying bro. two things. Oh bro, my bro, bro, god. Bros, bros, let, let me, let me, oh let me this again. God. No disrespect, okay? You're a big dude, right? You're a big dude, you're a big dude, you're a big dude. You get a big dude, right? <laughs> right? Right? You're 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 you have a bigger hitbox, okay? You're Yo. sleeping and you you What the you? hell is this shit? <laughs> Settle down. Don't okay? play victim. Don't and play victim. You, no, 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 there's been, there's been any duty for 20 years and she was to shoot a gun, okay? And then some guy breaks in and she wakes up with you and the dude with the big head box says, says, lady, don't worry, I got this. Because I'm the man, I take the gun. Bro, people are more of a threat to themselves with a firearm than, than, than to others, motherfucker. Okay, fine. Okay? If it's a, then, then you go. Train police here comes, officer, here, fine. Here, here comes one. They can shoot the gun. Here, here is the point, guys. I'm getting, the point I'm getting is, hit, boss. Oh, the hell is this shit? What the fuck? Here is the point. Like, the point is... Holy shit, man. Here's the point. The question Tate asked was, as a man, what, is, what happens when someone breaks in? Yes. As a male, we have the instinct to protect the woman to protect our child, to protect our home. Yes, the instinct is there. He is asking that question, and I am answering yes. As a man, that instinct is there. His headphones are off. He won't hear this, but yes. Now, the, what we're arguing here are the tactics, which is irrelevant. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay, then I agree with Tate. I agree with Tate. I agree with Tate. <sighs> yeah, yes. Here we go. I don't know, bro. Men are more it like a, a lot of... It, 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 it is a built instinct. Right? It's, it's, an, it's a little bit in our code. I Can agree. I I guess oh, historically and scientifically, it's it's on our code to be more to be more defensive. Yes, I that's like all along. Let what? Me tell you, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Polo is right. Oh, you do not send your woman to fight. You have a duty oh. as a man, and to sit here and say the tactics are different. I understand your point, but it's incorrect, and I'll tell you why. When the oh. Titanic. That when the Titanic was sinking, no one was sitting there going, who's a better swimmer? You or me? Who, oh, who, who's better in the cold? Well, you know what, chick? You know what? You actually, you got, you were a better swimmer than me. So if I get on the lifeboat because you're a better swimmer, that, that's bullshit. You're a man and you fucking die. That's the rules. That's the old school duty of masculinity to sit here and say, well, my chick might be better with an AR. 
Bullshit. If, if oh, a woman wants the boat the and nobody knows how to drive the boat, the boat will sink. If nobody no, no, is skilled on. enough hold to drive on. the boat, on, Jesus they will Christ. sink and die. All of you are so You'll easily kill baited. All of them. No, <laughs> like going to be masculine, <laughs> they'll hide. Congrats. Uh, let me say one thing. Let me answer the Tate's question, okay? Let me explain the contextual difference. The Titanic example is completely correct, and you're right, Tate. In the Titanic example, okay, there is no swimming. Whoever goes in the lifeboat survives. Whoever does not dies. As a man, our duty, yes, everyone, because the water is so fucking freezing, you will die. So whoever's in the boat survives, okay? That's a fact. You can't deny the fact. It's a fact. So, yes, you're, so yes, you're right. As a man, we sacrifice as a protective duty, as the rules say for old time honor, we die, the children and the females survive. You're right. But contextually, in the situation with the gun, do you understand? It isn't a situation of life and death. Yes, you're right. If it is a situation where- But nothing where is my... guaranteed, Trey. Oh, nothing is on. guaranteed. Oh, Even if she no. can shoot better, Los, she let me shouldn't. Finish, you you shouldn't send barbaric, your girl- You primitive brute. Let me finish, okay? <laughs> oh my finish. God. Go this ahead, but you're wrong. Shot. Go ahead. You guys are just That's fucking fine. dumb. I, I refuse fine. to believe that uh, being Holy smart enough that to own a computer Holy in this shit. call is that fucking stupid. Okay? Bro, bro, bro. Can I finish? Can I finish? Yo, bro, bro. Yo, Larry, can I say one example Let's real quick? Say, no, 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 I got an example for you, okay? The, the, one, you have bro. a gun, the gun is the only way you're gonna survive this, okay? Only way you're gonna survive it, okay? The magazine is under the bed, and your bed is real, and it's bolted to the fucking, it's bolted to the ground, right? Do you, do you say, hey girl, get the loader under the bed with your small arm that can go through it, and get the mag, or you say, bro, lady, back up, woman, woman, back up, you're the woman, I got this, and you can't get the loader. It's okay, cause at least you, at least you're the fucking. X, I got one man. example. You I try got... hard, but it didn't pan out. It's okay. And I got one. Die. I, I know. So I got one example. Good. I have one. You guys are on a hike. It's you and your girl. A fucking bear comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I listen. We're not escaping this. So I'm gonna say run. I'm gonna jump after the bear and let the bear fucking do have its way with me, bro. I'm right. gonna die to pretend right. she's gonna live. That's Correct. what I'm gonna do. If I that's my girl, bro. I, I I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Correct. Uh, okay. That, that's it. That's what I mean by this. Right. And I don't care if she can shoot better. Like then I'm not you gonna are send her both, to go shoot. Then you're both you, dead. It, if if the girl knows what to do because she has knowledge about the, about the bear approach, where right. she can sing or right. talk in a way that make her survive, I right. shut the fuck up. I point yeah. and I say, "You we went talk, to school. you talk," and then she says, us, "We don't run from a fucking bear. What do you think you are, you're a gladiator?" Wait, let, let, let Tate from speak. The, what did what did Tate say? What did Tate say? Gladiator. You're not a gladiator. Hold up, hold up X. Hold up. When the bear appears, you don't sit there and argue with your chick saying, well, you went to veterinary school, so you're better with bears, so maybe you can tickle the bear. And you can tickle, you know. yeah, yes, yes, you do. Fucking man. So what, this, what you're doing is this all goes full circle. It goes, back to the very, it goes back to the very beginning of this conversation when I said when I make points and the, the internet, they try and find little fucking stupid little ways out and bullshit, et cetera, et cetera. I was make, trying to make a very, very simple meta point that as a man, you have a duty to protect your female. And now people are coming along saying, no, maybe you protect her better by hiding in the bathroom and sending her downstairs with a grenade. That is fucking stupid. You have a duty as a man to protect your female. It is your duty. It is your masculine imperative. All of humanity insists, shows it's true. All of history shows it's true. And for you to sit here and say, if someone breaks into my house, I have no duty at all to protect my woman. If she's scared and crying, I might send her ass down there because I can't shoot. Shows that you have no intrinsic, you have no intrinsic desire to protect or provide or look after that female which is why you have no frame in your relationship which okay. is why she obey okay, you Tate. you send her ass to the club to get fucked by okay. somebody okay <laughs> Tate. okay take 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 conversation i've wasted enough of my life no 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 balls let me know but to sit here and talk to a man who thinks he can send his chick downstairs to fucking engage <laughs> our men i know i'm wasting my time to be fair okay to be fair yo our man argument was a bad argument that's all it was the yeah. bear argument i agree with the bear comes out you fucking go with the bear and you save the chick she runs but in the house argument it was just a bad argument no, but dude, XQC disagreed with that. You're agreeing, but he he didn't agree with that. Yeah, the bear huh. argument is that right, but the house crazy. argument was wrong. The bear argue the wait the bear. He's saying a bear comes out, right? Your chick has to run. You you tackle the bear and save your girl's life. Yeah, the the guy has to do that, right? But, in, okay, but no, no, in, I don't think you guys have seen bears. Before. I think I think you guys are a bunch of bitches. I don't think you've seen a bear before. What they do? Okay, I'm gonna give you, you can run. I'm gonna give you a joke. You can outrun joke, it man. by yeah. hundreds of meters. You're still gonna get fucking snapped on. You tackling the bear. Ex doesn't say you are both dead. No, you're not. No, you're not. Not I, both. 
Not both of you. You're both dead. How? You're both. No, you you be the bait, bro. You be the bait. You take the fucking bullet for your girl. Oh my god, bro, bro. Bears can mangle you in one hit. You're you're you are one tapped. But you're gonna give out of pressure with you. Preoccupied, you're you're both dead. You if she keeps running, she if she runs, there's no you are both dead. One hundred percent. Are you sure? Like a hundred million percent? Yes, you are both dead. If you both run, yes. Fine, let's chase the no, snake. No, no. Isn't the bear gonna want to eat you and shit? There's a joke. No, no, there's a joke, right? If it's, a joke. If, it's, if it's a mama bear and she has no, a cub, no, no. oh no, he's right. Threats, yeah, you are both. Yeah, dead. he is right about that. I'm gonna be honest. No, no, there's a joke. There's a joke, right? Here's the joke, right? If you and your friend encounter a bear and you're both running, how do you survive, right? You kick you trip your friend on the ground, yeah. You trip your friend, right? And, and you fucking survive. It's so a like, joke. Yeah, but metaphorically speaking, that's what we're talking about, right? Like, yeah. put that put that metaphor into a, a reality, right? Like, whatever the fuck that is, that joke into reality. We're talking about that situation. That situation, you fucking take the fall and you fucking let your girl survive, right? If you love her. If it's just, you know, a side chick, fuck, you let her die, right? But like... <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong, but still, the, the thing is, is that um, I feel X, like X, I feel, let's you, snake, you were right X, earlier. X, 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 let's say it's a rattlesnake then. Okay, okay, okay. The instinct the, for, for, for I, I, I get, I, I guess maybe, because I won't be wrong about this. So I will I will take you guys' points for, for what the bird's value it has. So, so men, historically, and in our code, we're more likely to be the one to protect. Right? It's our instinct kicks in, right? From that point on, we all agree. Whatever strategy it is next, whatever method or whether, whatever tool we need to use is the best to both survive is what we're going to use. Whatever it's that, the girl doing a backflip, the, the girl doing whatever the fuck, the guy doing whatever, whatever best strategy to both survive is what we will do. Not whatever the more manly thing is to do because we are already doing that. Whatever the most manly thing, the, we are already on that. It's another step, right? Yeah, but I just think it's not even a manly thing. It's like, would you take a bullet for the person you love? Like, that's just the thing. That's just what it is. Like, yeah, but to be fair, the gun example was a bad example because technically speaking, not to be a geek, but I'm going to be a geek, right? If, if you start bringing up statistics, right? Trust me, the gun example is bad. If you would have used something just more primitive and simple, like the bear attack or like you're in a situation where someone has to die right that would have been a more appropriate example someone has to die then you say yeah you send the man down there no matter how trained the girl is you're right? trained low x x x, 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 x low train I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm i'm done hey all good right, shit though i gotta go I, all right i'll talk to y'all later though all right well, yeah yeah, yeah. uh-huh all right yeah. oh my god